Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in today's video. It's going to be like the third installment on uh, vectoring versus rastering. These are two letters T that you would engrave, and then this would be hairlines that you would be cutting. So I, I did a little test, and I did three of them, and it's a pretty cool effect. This one is this one has been been uh, cut it took 28 seconds to cut that T I'm sorry the picture is not that good a quality this is the exact same letter but it's been rastered so engraved it took two minutes so this is four times faster now I'm not going to say you would want to do this every time but if you had to mark some things really quick uh, it might work really well, uh, especially on the back of something. You just needed to mark something. It would be four times quicker, and that's just on this one letter. Think about if it was a whole word. Now, I ran this out of focus about three-eighths of an inch tall, so I did the same on this one. I did three-eighths of an inch tall. Now, this one, I focused it correctly. Now, this one maybe has a little bit sharper lines, but look how much darker. So this is a two-part video. Not only it's going to show you how to do this, but it's going to show you how to get some darkness. So if I was ever going to go deep and I wanted dark, I would maybe run it once at regular focus and then go off focus. Because you're going to go off focus a little bit because the depth of your cut. But I would go a little bit more and it'll, it'll burn the wood because the beam is bigger. So how I did this, and you can play around with it. I just took the letter T, I left click my mouse, right click my mouse, then I made a, a hairline that's longer than my T. I'm gonna go control G and make, or control D and make a, a duplicate of it. And I set my, my nudge factor to 0 0.02. And then just make, all you have to do is make enough of them to cover your T, bigger than your T, take them, control G for group, object, power clip, place inside frame, and there you go. Now you could actually probably take away the outside. This one actually cut, cut it again, but that would work, or you could just leave that. So this took 28 seconds. This took two minutes, and that's just on one letter. It's four times faster. So maybe a whole word would just be four times faster equally. But that's what it looks like, and I think it, it's pretty cool. It, it actually gives it a, a neat-looking effect, almost more like it was done with a different machine. And you could, you know, if you, if you put the lines too close together, you know, like, half this distance well it's going to double your time so you'd be at a minute instead of two it would still be faster and it would it would it would look okay but that's how you would vector you in both all three of these were run at 100 power 60 speed so that's what you get and uh i hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching